Leo. Hey, Leo. It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy here to bring you a true intentions reading for the month of May. I hope all is well in the Leo community. For those of you who continually to uh, come to the channel and show your love and support, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much, Leo. And for those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because there's a variety of types of readings uh, as well as you checking your other placements for each reading. So there's definitely enough content for you to check out uh, for something. There should be a, something for you to resonate with, all right? So this uh, True Intentions reading is going to be general. It's not going to resonate. You want to take what does resonate and leave the rest, okay? Um, this is for any placement of Leo. It does not matter what placement of Leo you have, okay? It could resonate with you in your situation. This is uh, a reading about the person that you are dealing with or somebody who's coming towards you. or um, And it could be somebody new or it could be somebody from the past. Um, when I say the person is new, it could be somebody you just met and you're dealing with and you may want to know their true intentions. Uh, it could be somebody from the past coming back and you want to know if you should trust them. Uh, it could be somebody that you're currently in a relationship with and maybe you're suspicious uh, about some behavior that you're seeing and you want to know what their intentions are all right so we're going to find that out uh, i'm going to do two spreads for you this first one is just me getting a general understanding of what's going on with them what's going on with you now you may not even be with this person for some of you this could just be past energy of a relationship that you may have come out of okay keep that in mind so I have three cards for you, three cards for the person. Let me show you the overall energy. It's the Ten of Cups, okay? Piscean energy. So this is definitely about a romantic connection. If it's not about a romantic connection, it could very well be about you no longer in a romantic connection and now you have emotional fulfillment, okay? Because you can have emotional fulfillment and be single with the Ten of Cups energy. All right, so we have the Page of Wands, which is Aries. We have the Four of Cups in reverse, Okay, that is Cancer. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse, which is Leo. That's you, baby. We got the Two of Cups, which is more Cancerian energy. We got the Six of Swords, which is Aquarius. And we have the Eight of Wands, which is Sag. So, as far as how I, you're looking at the situation, um, I feel like maybe you, um, your intuition is telling you to let the situation go. That's what I'm getting for some of you to stop fighting for this connection. Uh, I feel like you may have changed your mind or perspective about this, this situation. That's what I'm getting immediately. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you're interested in starting something new uh, with someone else or somewhere else. But I do get overall energy of leaving this situation behind. For your person here, we have the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. They want to move forward with you. They're going to be contacting you, okay, wanting to move forward. Uh, again, this could be somebody that you're currently dealing with. Maybe they want to take things seriously to the next level. Uh, if it's somebody from the past, they may want to come back and reach out because I see the Eight of Wands here. Um, if this is somebody, uh, yeah, so from the past or somebody new, if this is somebody new, they're coming in wanting to move forward with you. Maybe they came out of a relationship. They may be looking to uh, connect with you. And maybe they see potential in you with the Two of Cups here. Okay? And the Six of Swords. So they could have come out of something as well. Um, and are, are moving towards you. Maybe you are the better option for them. Especially if you were... <clears throat> it could be that maybe there was a third party situation for some of you. But we will see when we pull the cards and see how this person truly feels about you and what their true intentions are so for my leos the current situation the last time they spoke with this person what was the energy like for my leos how does this person feel about the connection with them overall for my leos how does this person feel about them deep down that they may not be telling you how they really feel this is what's going on with them and them and how they feel about you deep down for my leos what's the mutual energy between you and this person Thank you. For my Leos, what external factors would keep you two from working things out? And for my Leos, if you work things out with this person, what would happen six to eight weeks from now? Overall energy for the spread, my friend. Six of swords moving forward.
Okay, remember any other person's uh, spread, they had the Six of Swords, so they had the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So this is all about uh, them following their intuition to their spirit guides, leading them maybe to uh, connect with you romantically. Okay, um, or maybe they're getting that download that that's what they should be doing. Okay, so this is how they feel about you. So I feel like they want to move. Either they want to move away from you or they want to move towards you and start something new. But let's see what this is about. We got the hangman energy, which is a major arcana of Neptune. Okay, Neptune rules Pisces. We have the three of coins, which is the three of pentacles. This is Capricorn. We have the Two of Coins, which is the Two of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy. We have the Three of Swords, which is Libra energy. We have the Queen of Swords, more Libra energy. And then more Libra energy down here with the Page of Swords. So strong Libra energy here. Um, this could be an energy of, uh, of, re of relationships, maybe trying to balance the scales. Okay, um, but let's see. So the, the mutual energy between you two when you last spoke was the hangman energy here. This is Piscean energy. So what I'm getting with this, I feel as if what's going on here is the last time you two spoke, whether you are together, whether you um, just met this person or whether this is someone from the past wanting to come towards you or maybe you wanting to go back towards them. I, I should mention that as well. Uh, I feel there's a stagnancy here. Okay, there could be a eureka moment. Somebody could be like, okay, I get it now. There could be an epiphany, okay, uh, in reference to what you want to do and how you want to do it. Uh, this uh, epiphany could be like saying, okay, I need to move away from the situation. Or the epiphany could be saying, you know what, this is somebody I need to invest some time and energy and effort into. But I don't feel that like there's been any action yet. I feel like there's been an, uh, a quiet between you two. Uh, if you ha For some of you, you may not have been speaking to this person, okay? You may not be speaking to them. Um, I get that strongly here. I feel like there's no communication at this moment based on this energy I'm getting. How does this person feel about you uh, overall, the connection with you? We have the three of coin or the three of pentacles. This could represent that this person uh, may want to work things out with you. They may want to put an effort in to see if you guys can build something. Um, this person may feel like they can build with you. Maybe they feel like they can build with you emotionally as well as financially. <coughs> <clears throat> for some of you, you may have met this person through business negotiations or at work, and maybe this is where you initially met, and uh, the interest uh, began, or the sparks flew. For others of you, this could be about a financial situation. This person could be looking at you as somebody who could help them out financially. All right, because this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a family member or a good friend, okay, to somebody you cared about, or just someone in a general coming towards you. Now, we'll clarify these in the extended to confirm, you know, what it is. Uh, how they feel about you deep down that they may not be expressing to you or may not have expressed to you is the two of coin. So they could be trying to decide if they can give to you or if they can give to someone else. They may be de de debating on if they want to put work in or if they don't want to put work in. This is how they feel about you deep down. They may be deciding if they want to put work in or not. Again, if this is about finances, they may be trying to see what they can get out of you how about with this um how much they how much work they got to put in to get what they need to get out of you is what i'm feeling here with this two of pentacles okay so hmm, i don't know if i like this energy leo but we'll clarify and extend it and confirm and we'll see what the other cards say here too so the mutual energy between you two the three of swords so you do have a past for some of you you do have a past this was a, a situation where there was interruption in your connection originally, which is why I feel like more importantly now, I really feel like you guys are not in communication right now. There's a pause between you two. OK, but uh, there's definitely something that came between you two or is coming between you two. OK, that is uh, making things very painful or difficult. The communication, it, it could be the communication between you two. Maybe you have two communication languages. Or it could be that one person has one ulterior motive and the other person has another. And so, you know, the actions, the communication could be one thing, but the actions are not matching the communication, which is what's causing the wedge. There could be outside factors coming into the connection, coming into play as well. But we'll find that out in the extended. Now, what external factors would keep you two from working things out? 
we have the queen of swords. So this is going to be external to you too. What would be interrupting the connection? So there's a sword here. So remember with the three of swords, there's a sword that's interrupting. Well, this is the sword that's interrupting. The queen of sword energy. Now, this queen of sword energy, this is Libra energy. Now, to me, the queen of swords, um, this could be a person. Or it could be somebody's emotions and feelings. Because the queens, if they're looking at just energy right not actually a person and that's usually how i read them but it could be there's an external factor here the external factor could be one of two things there's actually a a, a, a libra energy that's impeding okay or there is somebody's emotions and feelings because the queens represent your emotions your feelings your your creative imagination your intuition so somebody may not be they may be coming more from a logical perspective or they may not be honest with their feelings, or they could be very cutthroat and direct and hard to read. Okay? Um, this could be somebody who has very short patience. Uh, they just want to get to the point. Like, what, what's the point is what I'm feeling here. What's the point? What do you want? You know, and I feel like somebody may feel this way because their emotions may have been involved in the past. And so what this person may be trying to do is they're trying to take their emotions out of the situation and look at this from a logical perspective. Should I continue on with this? Should I deal with this? Uh, whatever this is, in, if this is something internally in reference to someone's emotions and feelings. So you could be feeling this way if this person is coming towards you. Or it could be this person feeling this way about you. So it could be either way. Uh, if this is an actual person, like I said, this is somebody who's coming in. Uh, it could be somebody who has, I mean, it could be a man. It doesn't need to be a woman. It could be somebody who's exhibiting more feminine energy, meaning they're more uh, receptive of what um, is being given in the form of communication. This could also represent um, legalities. Okay, that somebody have, may have going on that they're not expressing to the other person. I mean, we do have a third party situation here. So there could be something in reference to marriage. Because the swords, they deal with paperwork. <clears throat> uh, the logic uh, behind it. And so, I mean, I feel like this could be somebody considering filing some paperwork of some sort. I don't know. But if you do try to work things out with this person, uh, what would this person be thinking about six to eight weeks from now? In reference to your connection, we have the page of swords energy. All right. So the page is to me, um, it's either a child or a message. So there could be um, a documentation of a child. I mean, this could be what it is here. Could be like some paternity or uh, somebody getting some uh, results from a test confirming that there could be a pregnancy. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but we have the three of swords here. There's something coming in between you. Um, and if there's a third party, it could be that somebody is pregnant in a third party or got pregnant. Um, this page of swords could also represent uh, some type of communication coming in. Like I said, there. I feel like right now there is a standstill between you two. Okay, I feel like you're not communicating right now. And it be, could be because of whatever came through. Also, I, I forgot to even mention here, we got two threes here. So this person, you know, you it's definitely some type of third-party situation going on for some of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be another person for some of you. For some of you, your person could be dealing with someone they work with, or you could be dealing with someone you work with, and they could be married or dealing with someone else. But this person is definitely, I feel like it's them who has someone else <clears throat> because this is how they feel about you. They're trying to figure out if they can juggle you and the other person. That could be how they feel about you deep down. So with this page of swords here, there could be some messages that come in, some type of communication coming in from this person. Or maybe from you, depending on who is interested in reaching out first. Again, I feel like there's no communication between you two at this time. Somebody could be thinking about communication as well with this queen of swords energy. Somebody could be thinking, let me reach out. And then, you know, six to eight weeks from now, maybe this person does. Doesn't have to be that long ago. I mean, that long, that time frame for now, but within six to eight weeks, there could be some communication between you and this person. This person could be, um, they could send you a note, a letter, uh, email, you know, text message. This person could actually show up at your job, uh, maybe come to your home, but I feel like there's some type of communication that's coming in here, okay? And it's um, communication in reference to. Somebody, been, they've been thinking, okay? They've been thinking about things, and they want to communicate. 
Now, it is page energy, so it may not be, you know, this could just be somebody reaching out, testing the water to see if you'll respond to them or communicate with them, or they could be doing that with you, right? Because with the Six of Swords energy here, this is somebody who wants to move on or move forward. So we're going to find out what that means specifically in the extended. So if this resonated as is Libra, uh, I'm sorry, Leo, forgive me for that. Maybe some of you are dealing with Libra. I mean, we do got three cards with Libra energy here. One, two, three three of the six cards here so uh you know that could be what's going on here some of you could be dealing with libra or you could be dealing with legal okay because this three of coins could represent something legal as well okay maybe you uh this could be counseling for some of you maybe this person is debating on if they want counseling if you're married maybe they're debating on if they want to go to counseling or uh seek some type of professional help in reference to your connection this could even be you know going to the chapel but it could be a doctor as well Okay, um, of any sort. Okay, like I said, maybe pregnancy, um, because we do have a page here, so it could be about results for pregnancy. Somebody may be trying to determine if a child is theirs, they have to wait, you know, there's waiting. Okay, so this could be something about, you know, a third party and a child. All right, so yeah, if this resonated as is, Leo, feel free to click that like button. If uh, you want to leave a comment about how this resonated, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into the extended because I'm going to clarify each of these cards. All right, to get a little bit more detailed information about what's going on so that you know uh, what the cards are saying. And then based on that, you'll, ju you know, you'll throw that back and forth based on what your intuition is telling you, based on what you already know of the situation. And that way you'll be able to make the best decision for you moving forward because I do feel like there's going to be some type of communication between you two okay if, if you're not speaking uh if you are there could be some results coming okay and we'll find out um we'll see if we can find out what that is so if you haven't subscribed already feel free to do so make sure you hit that notification bell and don't forget to check your other placements and the other types of readings that are on the channel because for all of you this may not resonate okay so I'm going to the extended Leo. Come on, join me. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Leo.